hi guys so the unexpected happened and basically i have to commute to newark tonight to work a miami turn tomorrow and i have not had to commute in 11 months to newark so this is a big big thing for me <laughs> um due to the understaffing due to the current understaffing at work um no one's really been able to get personal jobs or anyone picking up their trips and things like that so i didn't get lucky and therefore i had to commute but um uh, i'm currently waiting for the uber to get here just because i'm not i don't want to leave my car in the airport parking just because i don't know if i'm going to get stuck or something like that in newark and the reason why is because there's weather in the east coast and all that fun stuff so um I'd rather just leave the car here and just take it over. And on the way back, I would just take the little trolley back home. And um, yes, I still have Christmas decorations. I need to take them down. I've been telling myself I'm going to take them down and still nothing. It's like halfway through the month of January and I still have Christmas stuff. I still have my Christmas tree too. So exciting. Um, I actually have positive space to go to Newark due to the weather. Um, so I already have a seat and everything since I am basically not a must ride, but I have a seat basically. <laughs> At the airport, I have about 15 minutes until boarding it ends and my Uber driver was driving crazy, crazy fast. We almost hit a car. <laughs> um, so I was a little bit worried if I was gonna make it in one piece to the airport, but I made it. And there's literally no one, it's so empty. It is a red eye flight, so I'll get to Newark at 6.30 a.m. My check-in's at 8 in the morning, so I'm hoping that I can get some sleep on the plane. Um, so yeah. that well on the flight but then again it's a red eye on plane it's never fun and uh i'm working from newark to miami on the airbus i don't know why i thought it was a 737 um but it's an airbus <laughs> not my favorite one and it's a full flight it's freezing cold right now they're catering from the back um so the door back there it's completely open and air it's just so cold so i'm in the middle right now in the extra row um just trying to stay warm we still have a little more minutes until we start boarding so we have time and i got two plain bagels with cream cheese um super expensive by the way and uh, but it was the cheapest option out of everything that they had here and holy macaroni they gave me so much cream cheese and i'm like this is too much like overload it was literally just coming out of the bagel <laughs> um so that was definitely a little a little too much i guess since they charged a dollar and 25 cents for the cream cheese the lady was like i'm gonna put it as much as i can on there um but basically we're just gonna turn as of now we're 19 minutes late due to the weather that's really bad in the east coast right now and it just feels really weird having to it just feels really weird having to commute to Newark. I basically haven't done it in 11 months um, for a turn. <laughs> so this is definitely not fun. I'm hoping that we can get back on time so I can take the 4.55 p.m. flight back to San Diego. It is gonna be a little bit tight uh, just because we're getting at like 4.10 give and take. So hopefully everything goes well and we get in on time or a little bit early if we can. Just realize that I have cream cheese on my hair. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. So I went to get pizza because it looks like we're delayed now, um, about 45 minutes delay, because the weather here is raining like crazy. And also because they forgot to give us our criminals in Newark and we told them about them and they're like, we don't have any. <laughs> So we are expensing the meals. So yeah, 
I just realized I threw away my receipt, so, oh, crap. So it's past our departure time now, and we still haven't even boarded yet, so we don't know how long this will take. And they shut down the ramp not long ago because it was lightning. Um, so we shall see how long this takes, but I have a feeling that my flight is San Diego. I will not be taking the 455 anymore because we're not going to get there on time unless a miracle happens and unless that flight gets delayed. Um, so most likely I'll have to wait like two hours in order to be able to get to San Diego home today. It's like a mess right now because it's humid in Florida, so my hair doesn't like humidity, and I just want to tie it soon enough because I look like a hot mess, not a pretty one, not a cute one. <laughs> but yeah, it's raining harder again. Oh, Florida! That's why I'm like coming to the East Coast because it's not one thing; it's another thing. Like, of course, the time that I had to commute to the East Coast bad weather it's overall the whole up and down the east coast so <laughs> i think i'm the bad luck one okay we're still here like i came inside of the plane it's freaking cold in here because the ac is on high and i just want to fall asleep now and i know the moment that i fall asleep or get cozy is the moment they'll be like okay boarding starts now um so they're just waiting and waiting and waiting The exciting life of flights and then you just wait around and wait. <laughs> uh, so my flight back home was wide open and I ended up getting first class. And I love the Center 7 Max because with this new entertainment system, you can actually use your AirPods or any Bluetooth um, compatible headphones that you have and it's I think it's pretty cool. finally home it's been officially 24 hours since i left san diego and i am finally back home it's been a very very long 25 hours and uh, i am so tired i <laughs> i'm going to sleep in the other bedroom just because my bedroom right now i put the sheets to wash um and i usually always wash my sheets every friday but i kind of forgot to do it and i did it yesterday which was saturday and uh I'm really not in the mood of like putting my bed together right now. So I'm just gonna like take a shower, get ready to go to bed and just go to the guest bedroom and pass out. <laughs> I am like so out of it, I'm really, really tired. And uh, I ended up taking the trolley uh, from the airport here because Uber was expensive. I think the cheapest after I kept like uh, logging in and out was like $60 and I live about 10 minutes from the airport by car so it's not very far and uh, I tried Lyft as well and it was expensive too and I'm like never mind I'm just gonna take the trolley basically this was the most random commute that I have done and like I said I haven't had to commute in 11 months to Newark whatsoever so this felt really strange and I also have a trip this weekend, uh, I'm hoping that I can that I can get a PTO for that trip, so I don't have to go to Newark. But it might have to happen again, and I'm not looking forward to it.